ourselves. Is Wicca a neo-pagan religion or little more than devil worship? Can anybody tell me who Margaret Murray was? Didn't you write the witch cult in Western Europe? She did write the witch cult in the Western Europe. Very good, Kara. Can anyone tell me anything else about her? Perhaps Izzy would like to enlighten the class. What about, sir? <laughs> the sleepover or Margaret Murray? Yes, uh, last time I checked, we were talking about neo-paganism. Not your sordid weekend plans. Except my plans are much more exciting. Yes, well, that's enough of sleepovers, all right? So, Ruby, perhaps you'd like to tell us something. Sir, do Wicca and Neopaganism actually exist today? Absolutely. What? Real witches? Well, I think all the pointy hats and broomsticks are at Hogwarts, but yes, some would describe them. Sort of the modern day witches do then. Gather around the cauldron for a copper. <laughs> a man called Robbie Cochran started a wicker coven as recently as the 1960s. He talked about the seven disciples and the seven stages of wisdom. After his death, his coven well, they split up for a while and then they renamed themselves the Regency. In fact, they used to meet secretly locally here in Queenswood. Wait, our Queenswood? Yep, the very same Queenswood. Right, I want you to also take out a pen, make a note of this for your homework. I would like you to write an essay debating whether you think that Wicca is in fact an ancient pagan. Now, there was a British civil servant by the name of Gerald Gardner claimed that he joined an active wicker coven in 1939. He wrote a Sir, book called... do they still meet in Queenswood? Uh, I don't believe the Regency still meet there. No, it was a long time ago, but... Uh, but... Uh, but there is rumours of um, other goings-on there in more recent years. What, wicker gatherings? Well, a few years ago now, there was a young man who was involved in the lower echelons of politics. Even those who are distinctly disinterested were somewhat enthralled and enraptured and beguiled by this eloquent and enigmatic character. Was he a paedophile? I don't think he was a paedophile, no, but it wasn't considered right that he forced such anti-religious beliefs on uh, such impressionable young children, really. Yes, come in. Some people believe... Sorry to interrupt, Mr Shears, but you're wanted in the headmaster's office right away. Am I? Uh, well, kind of wait until the class is finished. Best not to keep Mrs. Thurman waiting. I'm sorry, I don't think we've met, have we? Mrs. Belial, you supply. Mrs. Belial. Okay, well, I was just uh, telling the class about. Uh... You Clef, yes. I'm fully updated, Mr. Shears. It's okay. I can take over now. Um.
Right. Okay, class, it seems that something urgent has uh, cropped up, so I'm going to have to dash off, but I'll leave you in the capable hands of Miss... Uh... Mrs. The Lion. Mrs. The Lion. Uh, okay. Thank you. So, girls and boys, where were we? You, Clef. Oh, yes. A very handsome man by the name of Clef. Clef? What sort of name is Clef? Clef is French for key, and Yuri is Hebrew for God of Light. It's a lovely name, don't you think? Key to the God of Light? How cool is that? He would hold sway at meetings above the old tea rooms in the woods. I wonder what my name means. And the young flock to hear him. Scared of the ear, most probably. Some think that he was out to corrupt children, or even the devil himself, gathering an adolescent army. That's ridiculous. He's probably just some perv. Or an idol. Everyone loves a hero. Parents made their disdain known to the government and the local schools. But all allegations were unfounded, of course. Everyone is entitled to freedom of speech. And Yuri Clef was no exception. So they couldn't stop him? No. But he did stop. There is growing concern this evening over the whereabouts of the seven students missing since Halloween. Yuri Clef, the wild young politico, who recently established a reputation of the So who was there then? What happened? They vanished. But people don't just vanish. Did they find any evidence? No. Not to support abduction or murder. Murder? They found his case under one of the old oak trees in the cupboard. Nothing else? Just keys? Nothing else. Someone must know what happened. Class is missed. Has anyone been up there since? It's not possible. No one's allowed up there on any of the old festivals. Just in case. Don't even think about it. Think about what? That you'd be asking for trouble. You're not exactly one of us, are you, Eve? If you don't be so hard on her, she just wants to be one of the girls. Let's face it, she doesn't have the balls. Sturmans, Mr. Shears, you wanted to see me? Sturman? Sorry, Eve, didn't mean to stop. Did, did you see where Miss Belial went? I really need a word with her. Um, no. Sorry, I didn't. No, OK. about you two, but I don't want to go and search for some dead pedo. But a sleepover on Halloween in the woods sounds like a much better idea. In the woods? I'll just get my mum to give us a lift and she'll help us climb over the fence. 
How are we going to do that? Well, it worked before. My mum texts Fran's mum. Fran deleted the text. What, and you didn't get caught out? No, of course not. Why would my mum doubt Fran's mum? You're mad! Our mum would skin us alive if she found out something like that. So would mine, but why would she ever find out? Fran's not going to say anything. But we don't have a tent. You've got a sleeping bag, don't you? Yeah. Well, then you chicken or what? What? <laughs> and tomorrow is Halloween. I feel a party brewing. OK, then. But who's going to come? Just us three. Keep it simple. What's wrong with Aurica? Aurica has a tent. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I like her and everything, but do you think she can keep her mouth shut? It's not really her we have to worry about. It's Eve. We have to invite Fran, because we can't just stay at her house and then not invite her. And anyway, her and Aurika are, like, joined at the hip these days. Oh, no, bloody boring. No, they're just not dope like you. Shut up. Do they even know what alcohol tastes like? They all love it. <laughs> All right, then, just invite me. about to embark on our sleepover at Fran's house. But we're not at Fran's house. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have a sleepover in the bloody woods. <laughs> in the dark, with no toilets. What are you gonna do if you need the toilet? <laughs> your mum thinks you're staying at mine, yeah? Fran, what do you mean, does her mum think you're staying at yours? She texted your mum. 
You did delete the text, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Wait, so she bought it? Well, I hope so. Well, we're all in deep shit. Guys, they both think we're at Fran's house. It's fine. So, we call cool, yeah? Yeah, it's perfect alibi. <laughs> alibi? We're only camping in the woods, not committing a crime. Don't know about that. Ta da! <laughs> How'd you get hold of that? Steve got it for me. So you're still seeing Steve then? He wishes. <laughs> he also got me this. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steve, your dirtbag. Gotta love ya. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're in for a fun night, girl. <laughs> Staying at Fran's tonight? No, I wasn't invited. Mm. But it's okay, I've got so much homework to do anyway this weekend. <laughs> that doesn't look like homework to me. If you want to know about local history, why don't you go to the library? There's lots more there than on that googly website. Who's going for me? Not me. Right, come on, Kara. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, <laughs> Maybe we should stay closer to the entrance. No, because what if we get caught by like, a warden? <laughs> How serious? We get, get caught by someone. I bought chocolate. What's that call? We walk our way. So we don't get lost? What time do the wardens come around? I don't know if they do, but we don't want to get caught by them. <laughs> yeah, they'll be murdered if we get caught. Murders? Huh? Yeah, my mum will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Henry's a, a great, great chap. I mean, mm. going back to your face. Can I take it, these out, please? In, in, oh, just a second. Um, uh, these, dear, I'm sorry, but they are strictly for reference only. Oh, oh, OK. Um, can I copy them? You've got a copy, right? I'll just copy them, thanks. Uh, no. Our copier is broken. And I am afraid we are closing in a minute, so if you don't mind, you're just going to have to uh, come back to my idea. OK? Do apologise. Oh, and can you make sure they go back in the proper place? Thank you. Bye. <sighs> Young lady, if there's any damage to that public property, I...
Okay, let's see which way we're heading. Should be about a mile or so this way. We should put this head up now. It's getting kind of dark. No, let's find the coven first. There's no hope in finding it in the dark. Okay, but can we hurry up? I don't want to be set up a tent by torchlight. What was that? That was a tawny owl. <laughs> How'd you know that? Because we went to the brownies and we went like owls. Did that count for the chalky in the tree? Common <laughs> sense, actually, guys. There's a lot. <laughs> you went to the brownies. Hello. I was eight, and it was fun at the time. <laughs> and at least I won't be screaming if I hear an owl at two in the morning. No lie, I'll be too pissed to realise. <laughs> 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 This must be it. Shit, it's so spooky. Guys, look at this. Some sort of ash. Ain't fag ash. Looks like it's been done recently. How do you know? Cos look, it's like perfect. So who did this then? The was just shot to the public, remember? It's just us tonight. <laughs> Must have been the god of light. <laughs> okay, okay, give me a chalk. What's Come on, let's build the tent. <laughs> Maybe we'll see a pagan gathering or something. That's it. We Look. should pitch up close enough to hear something 
Yeah, but she won't be boring. You're so gay. Mm, me neither. What about you guys? Um, no. I have one bar. Oh no. It's just gone. What about you, Z? Might have. Check then. Not, not much point, I didn't bring it. Why not? That's stupid. Well, funny enough, I didn't sneak out into the woods and then tell mommy about it. Okay. <laughs> Good point. We don't really need them. Yeah, well, I would have been happy if you know, we had a phone at work. Stop it! <laughs> yeah, but what really scares you? You? Your face? <laughs> I mean, really. Spiders. Big, hairy spiders. <laughs> Deep, dark water. Tiny fluttery birds in my hair. <laughs> the pink bunnies from the battery I've got. <laughs> oh, they're quite scary. The dark. The evil in the dark. Come into the light, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> the evil in the dark. Surely the good and the light will always win over the evil in the dark, right? Whatever. You're wrong. Dark must always win. Just will. One day, the stars will begin to fade one by one. And when the last star in the last galaxy in the universe dwindles and dies, it will be the end of all light. And the dark will be forever. And we all know what happens in the dark. Don't we? There's no way I can do such things. Mum? Maybe. Um, I don't know. Mum, what is it? Sorry. What do you think this means? You can make him go away with a cross stick. You 
It doesn't mean anything, it's just a nursery rhyme. Hold on. You think not? Uh, nursery rhymes are based on stories that have been handed down through generations. But this one, this one is, I believe, much, much older. I don't suppose your mother's ever told you this. Well, there's a plague pit just a few hundred yards from here. In the woods. Over a hundred thousand people died in that rat-infested plague. And when the city's cemeteries were full, they piled the dead onto carts, drove them to vast lime-filled pits outside town, and threw them straight into hell. It's poor souls. Indeed. It was said that the devil gathered up most of those poor souls. I wonder where he gathers them from now. So what the hell does all this mean, then? Uh, well, um... What's a crostic? Crostic. If you take these two pencils and, uh, cross them... Yes, but if you, if you hold them more like this, that way... Ah, to ward off evil. OK, so how are you supposed to keep him away with a shoe? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Bash him on the head with it? And he shall walk upon the earth with cloven hoof. It's a giveaway. You can't fit a hoof into a shoe. He can't hide in human form, so you can see him coming. But what if you can't see him coming? What if he gets close enough to you to tap you on the shoulder? Then it's you. Your chosen. You can make you go away, 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 away. Let's play truth box. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Try that again, shall we? Yusuf. What does that mean? It's not even a me. Yusuf. Your wife. Your wife. <laughs> Your wife. Do it again, do it again. Yusuf again, what the hell? That's just what the hell? hell? That's so that's weird. Oh my god, that is so weird. Okay. okay. <gasps> No, that's really weird. Shit, look. What? What? In the order it went in. Lucifer. Shit, what? No, you did that on purpose. No, you saw it. Yeah, you did. No, it Don't did lie, that. I did. It, it landed like that three times. Lucifer. Can you stop saying that for me? No, that is really scary. No, seriously, that's not funny. OK, just take it off. Just, yeah. <gasps> Can we, like, throw them away? That's really creepy.
signal. Oh, oh yeah. Who was the one that said they wanted to pit up close to the commons? That was Ori. Oh, you're the one. Oh, all this Satan 7 bullshit is absolute bollocks. Well, I'm not in the slightest bit bothered about this either. I just thought, you know, we need a friend that worked between us. That's all. What's bollocks? Paganism. Don't you believe in any of it? <laughs> no. What about the key to the God of Light? What about him? <laughs> Do you really think he's gathering the devil's army? Um, I told you he's just on pedo. Right, come on guys. She's right, let's just relax. <laughs> can't <Yeah>. speak. <laughs> Would you like a sandwich? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Sandwich. It's spam, isn't it? It's spit. No, it's not <laughs> spam. What's it's that in my face? Not liability. <laughs> Please. Come <laughs> on, Carol, let me see what you've got so far. I'll do that. Ugh. What up, B? It should be in some line. Lovely. Uh, so is it? Is it? <laughs> Give us a smile. What the hell? Shit, where did that come from? I don't know. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Let me see. That the night weren't too boring. Yeah, well, I hope she was worth a long walk home. Patience, she will be. Anyways, I know a shortcut through the woods. Yeah, well, you got to swallow the worm now. 
Especially after keeping me waiting. I was busy. Anyways, I'll do the same for you. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well, didn't have you down as a pussy. That's because I ain't no pussy, bruv. I just don't like worms. Birds like worms. So look at the worm, then. <laughs> and I ain't a pussy. Swallow the worm, then. And I ain't a bird. Look, if you like it so much, you swallow it. Well, it's a worm. <laughs> Worms are good. Well, it'd have to be some real tasty worm. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> yeah, you first. Okay, that was not a firework. Sound like a toy being snapped. So who stepped on it? It was probably a fox or something. It sounded too loud to be an animal. So who stepped on it then? <sighs> no. You swallowed the worm. I've swallowed it tons of times before. Oh, if you swallowed it tons of times before, I can't be that great if you want to give the only worm to me. Just sharing, man. It's just sharing. Yeah, Louis, I appreciate the brotherly love, but I'm giving it back, so you swallow the worm. Doesn't do anything anyway. So why do I have to swallow it? Everybody has to swallow it once. Mm. Well, I'm rain checking tonight. <laughs> That's feeble. That's the truth. <laughs> You soaked my shirt, you dickhead. That good, huh? Wait up. Did you hear that? Did I hear what? Thunder? No, that, that noise. What was it? It's scared, are you? No, but I mean, I don't really want to be hanging out around here. Why do we have to walk through the woods anyway? Why can't we take the road like everyone else? You can take the road if you want, man. I'm not twisting your arm, but it's quickest this way. That's if you know where you're heading, of course. You do know which way we're heading? Uh, yeah, this way. Hello, Charlie. How you doing? Not too bad. Shouldn't you be at home, marking homework? Do you know, I don't want to see another exercise book or pupil till... Oh, not 9am. Exactly. Yes, please. So what's happening? How are things up the manor? Yeah, not bad. I finally got called to see the headmaster yesterday. What? Finally got the push? <laughs> no, Charlie, no. So what did he want? I don't know, that's the funny thing. I don't know, he wasn't there. I thought you said he asked for you. Yeah, he did. Well, a supply teacher came into my class in the middle of the lesson and Jeez. said that he wanted to see me straight away. A supply teacher? Mm. 
thing, man. Mm-hmm. Bit of a looker. <sighs> yes, Charlie, she was very good looking. Quite mesmerising, actually. Yes, and? Come on, the suspense is killing me. <sighs> well, the thing is, I got back to the class and she wasn't there either. But you went to the office and got her number. Getting a bit lax in your old age, aren't you? No, well, of course I went to the office and asked about her, but the funny thing was that they didn't have any record of her. Tiny bit careless. Yeah, that's what I thought. <sighs> but at least you still got a job. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. But you did get her name. Yeah, Belial. Miss Belial? Belial? Yeah, that's what it sounded like, yeah. Why, do you know her? The Lord said, Beware, my child. The devil doth play a game. You may not summon Satan, but he's coming just the same. He'll seduce you with his angels, demons shrouded in a smile. For Lucifer doth have a prince, and the prince's name, Belial. <laughs> Very good, Charlie. What? How good pokers, isn't it? Is it? Well, I don't know. You tell me. You'd have believed it. What are you doing? Just getting my bearings. Well, how the fuck are you going to see anything up there? Yeah, I can't, but... But what? Shh. Listen. <laughs> what? I can hear something. Listen up. You'll be laughing in a minute. And it probably was just a fox anyway. It's quiet now. Actually... I feel kind of weird. Because you are weird. <laughs> You're well weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you just left me in no room. Really. <laughs> what is that? Babes in the woods, yeah? Maybe, but what are they doing? Do we really care? <sighs> nah, no, but maybe they know the way out, which is more than we do right now. You said you knew the bloody way out. Yeah, well, I do, but... No, I don't. Well, look, let's just head back to the road then. Okay, but well, where is that exactly? Exactly. <laughs> right, be careful, man. Have you seen anything up there? Jesus, Eddie! Take a look. Bro, careful. It actually hurts. You've put a hole in your head. Where the hell did you land on? It's a bad. Oh, man. I think you're going to need stitches. What have you got? It, it looks like a horn or something. Maybe from a deer. <laughs> really disgusting thing to spread the back of my head. About to scare the shit out of me. Come on, man, let's get you out of here. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Firework or something? It didn't sound like a firework to me. Uh, it was a car or no, a by back firework. Sounds like a gun. <laughs> a gun in the middle of the woods. Let's be serious. It could have been a poacher. No. Maybe poacher going to be a cruiser or that. Well, it couldn't have been backfiring. There are no bikes or cars in here, e Eddie. Eddie, Eddie, wake up. It 
It was a bike. You hear that, Eddie? You were right. Look, come on, man. We've got to get you out of here. Eddie, I've got no signal. Look, I've got to go try call for help. Just wait here. Oh, turn off your light, I can't see a thing. Who's there? What do you want? Listen, get my phone if you want it, but my mate's hurt. He's got real bad, he's bleeding. He fell out of a tree. Will you help me? What do you want? since we got here. Okay, but then can we go home? You so I can come back to mine? Okay, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Don't belong. Oh, are you kidding? There's all twigs and stuff here. I'm gonna find a better place. Wait for me, guys. I'm just gonna go get my jacket. Pass my jacket, will you? It's so cold outside. What's happening? Nothing, just being drippy. Alright, don't be long. Wait, and make sure you stick together, yeah? I know, I didn't realise it gets scared. Yeah, but we're going home, I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, it's just a dream. Edgar Allan Poe said that 
people who dream during the day know much more than people who dream at night. Fran? Fran? Where are you two? Quit messing around, will you? Please stop. Power. Carol. Carol. Carol, please stop. Carol, you're scaring me. Come back for you, Eddie. I'm gonna call for. I'm gonna sort this shit out.
Fuck. I just had the worst dream ever. They've been gone too long. What, are they not back yet? No. They've been ages. How long? I don't know, like six songs. It's too long. Where are you going? To see if I can see her. See them? No. Do you think they went back to the coven? What for? I don't know. To have another look? Maybe they heard a sound or something. Care wouldn't go without asking me, and Fran's already really scared. Yeah, you're right. They're just trying to scare us. Well, it's working. Bossing. Yeah, it's payback time. Come on, guys. It's enough now. Come on, game over. I wouldn't do this for me. She wouldn't wind me up. Right, guys, if you don't come back right now, we're gonna pack up the tent and just, just leave without you. We should go look for them. But what if they come back and we're not here? Something's not right. I can tell. No, let's just wait a little bit. Wait. Oh, listen, it's them. Kara! Kara, that's enough now! That's not them. That's not them. Ah! 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 Please stop! Listen, I need your help. Please, I'm not gonna hurt you. Please, stop. Listen. What do you want? Look, listen, I'm not gonna hurt you. Me and my friend Eddie were walking home through the woods, but he fell out of a tree. He's really badly hurt. I need to get him to a doctor. But some nutcase is chasing me. Who's chasing you? I don't know, he's on a bike. Someone's chasing you on a bike? He's on a motorbike, it's a fucking motorbike. Why is he chasing you? Here, inside the woods. What's that going to do with it anyway? I need to find the others and get out of here. Listen. I can't hear anything. Me neither. Exactly. Where did he go? There's no way out of the woods at night. But how did he get in? I don't know, but where is he now? It's like he vanished. That's what happened earlier. The bike had just vanished. But what does he want from you? What have you done? I haven't done anything. I don't know who he is or what he wants, but he won't let me leave. I feel like I've been running in circles. 
Why are you here anyway? Weird place to be camping. We came to see the coven. Jesus. Look, I've got to get to my mate Eddie before he does. Will you help me? But I need to find my sister. Yeah, we need to find her sister and our friends. All right, well, I'll help you if you'll help me. But one thing's for sure, we can't stay here. Come on. You have a better idea. Kara! Are you mad? We don't know if he's still out there. Don't make another sound. But you don't even know where Eddie is. Admit it, you don't have a clue where you left him. Ruby, stop it. It's not his fault. How do you know it's not his fault? Some nutcase is after him. He must have done something. Louis. And your friend? Eddie. Oh my god. What is it? They were the missing letters under the cover. What's she talking about? The letters L and E. That's you and your friend. What is? It happened before on Halloween. Some weirdo went missing of seven kids. Yeah, my mum told me about him. What's that got to do with it? Well, all they found was his... What's his... that got to do with it? That's us. Don't you understand? We're the seven missing. to get away from him. Ruby! That's my sister. Kara, where are you? Ruby! Kara! Kara, wait! I'm coming! Wait, wait for me! Wait! We stay together! No! Stay away from me! Kara, I'm coming! Wait! What's she gonna say? What did they find? I don't know, just some keys. Keys? What keys? I don't know. Look, we have to get out of here. We've got to get help. We've got to just leave them. You heard her, they must be here somewhere. Ruby! Where are you? Oh, yeah. Izzy! Over here! Come on this way. Hey, wait up! Can't make it out. Look, right there. Look. Oh, they're dancing. Look, they're dancing in the coffin. Look, it's a party. But come on, it's a Halloween party. Wait. that.
Look, you'd be asking for trouble. Well, you're not exactly one of us, are you, Eve? Let's face it, she doesn't have the balls. Pray for me and forgive my sins. Look, look, look. 
gotta help me. You gotta help me. Thank you.